Hey friends, I look like this. <laughs> I thought about not doing a video. I look like I've been doing drugs. And I got the yellow and red eye going on. Got some sinus things going on. As happens when you go out in winter time, you get <laughs> sick. I went to a, a meeting in another city and anyway, this is how I am today. <laughs> I thought, oh, I should try to make myself look better. I'm like, oh, I don't look good enough. But <laughs> while I was at that meeting in another city, I went to a secondhand store and I got this bag for $75. I wouldn't normally pay $75 for a bag of jewelry, but I saw two things in there that kind of excited me. And now I'm concerned because the one ball thing that was in there, oh yeah, it is, there it is. I'm like, wait, where'd it go? The lighting is bad where I'm looking, but okay, we're good. <laughs> You're fine. Hopefully you can see it. Let me take off the price tag and see if you can see it. So, um, I couldn't see a lot because the bag is really tied off tight, but um, it, oh, it's not going to make any difference, um, but I could see right away that there was some gold, and I could try the magnet and see that it was not magnetic, so hopefully you can see it right there. Can you see that little... And then it looped around here, and I was able to shake it. I've shown in my other videos, just watch my other jewelry videos, but I'll try and explain it as I go. So when I have a bag like this that I'm wanting to buy or look at to see if I want to buy it, I won't buy it if I don't see some gold or some silver in it or something that I want a like in it for one of the girls or myself. So this little gold thing, chain, was hanging down, and I couldn't see the end of it. So I took it up like this. And I kind of move the jewelry like this and shake it a little bit. And by doing that, I was able to get one of the edges to drop down um, right here. And then when I was able to get that little piece dropped down, I was able to get my loop out. See that little loopy loop thingy there? I was able to get my loop out. And let me see if I can show you so you can see how to do it through the bag. Um, then I was able to look at it through the bag with my loop and see that it was 14 karat gold. So, and it, it, it doesn't look short enough to be a bracelet, it looks long enough to be a necklace. So then I'm going, okay, is that value? Worth it. So you've got a, the distortion of the bag, but you can see there's a loop thingy right there. Now let me see, it might be flipped over. I don't have anything on this side. Nope, it's right there. I can see it right here. So hopefully you can see it. It says on that gold thing right there. I've got a reflection from the window. I may, let me try moving the whole thing. <laughs> it's probably still have reflections, but bear with me. I'm gonna try <laughs> moving this way and see if I can get the reflection off of the um, bag a little bit. It's just bright enough, but dark enough. So the, <laughs> I'm dark, I feel like it's dark in here. I'm having a hard time seeing it, but with the reflections off the window. Okay, let me try again. Okay, so there's a designer mark. It says 14 KT, and then there's an A in a circle. A, 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 or an A, or something. So hopefully, I'll be able to see that. Right, right. Shoot. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be hard, but anyway, you might just have to take my word for it. Right there. Hopefully you can see it. It says 14K. And I don't know through the bag if you can see it. But anyway, so I'm able to shake the bag enough. And then I'll show you the other thing. And hopefully these aren't the only two things in the bag <laughs> that are great. Um, because if they are, I'm 
would probably break even. And if the, the necklace is broken, you know, I mean, if it's gold value, it's not a big deal. But then I was shaking it around. Let me see. Oh, and I found this watch. Now, I couldn't tell the name of the watch, but you can get the glass replaced on the watch. But what I thought was cool on this watch that I had not seen before is there's a calendar in the band. Now, it could just be the band type that has that, that on it, but it did look like it's a auto wine. I couldn't tell if it was working, but um, anyway, I just thought that was kind of cool that it had a built-in calendar. So I thought, mm, okay, I know it has gold in it, 14 karat gold in it, and it has some interesting things. So those were the two main things. I couldn't see any rings that were anything exciting. There are some rings, but I couldn't see. They didn't look real. So I figured it was worth it. And I could have waited till I felt better, but I can't. I couldn't sleep. I didn't feel good, so I thought I would take a chance and do the bag. Look at my this. <laughs> so hopefully you will forgive how I look and sound. I'm a little stuffy, but. I just wanted to do something that I didn't have to put too much effort in. Sorry, I'm bouncing the table. Like Fort Knox. <laughs> she takes the entire bag all the way around. Now, this bag has a cool story. So, I went to a, a secondhand store. I don't normally go to it. It's far away. And I've been there before where they've had a $75 bag. And it was... I didn't buy it. I couldn't see anything in it of value. So when I went, um, I asked the guy at the collectibles area if there had was any jewelry, and um, he said that, I said like $20 bags or anything, he goes, oh, we only sell them at $75, and I said, well, $75, they're not probably worth it, you'd have to get a lot of gold and silver to make it worth $75, and he said that uh, one woman came in and said she'd made $1,200 off the bag. She must have had some really good stuff in that bag to make $1,200. Because most of the watches I can see on here are not, or jewelry is mostly recent costume jewelry. So anyway, he said, let me see if there's a bag coming out. So he called, and it was in the evening. So normally, I think they bring that stuff out in the mornings. But um, he said, oh, she's working on one right now. Do you want, and he said, it's about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So I waited. It was more like half an hour. But... Um, he said, you want to look at it as soon as it came out? And I said, yeah. So that was really cool that I had that opportunity. So, um, anyway, yay for that. Okay. Ooh. It's a swatch watch. A little scratched. Not too bad, actually. A little bit. in good condition. I don't know how much those are worth. Years ago they were exciting, but I, <laughs> I think everything 80s has made a resurgent. I'm going to move over a little bit so my head is not right in the mirror. <laughs> it's it's kind of distracting. Hopefully the lighting will work better here and you can see things. Okay. <sighs> Big sis. Bracelet. <laughs> Um, it's not in bad shape. Somebody might like that. I don't want it. <laughs> but we'll donate it like we do. Okay. A relic watch. I don't think it's anything exciting. Um, well, uh, I have somebody who wants all the watches if I don't want them. So I just bag them up and take them to her. Um... If they're not any value or something, I think I can sell it online. That is very big, and um, but I think it's cute. Let me see. Maybe I would wear that. Uh, no, I wouldn't wear it. It's too tight for me. But it's very cute. I think it's kind of cute. Somebody might like that. Um. Also, this is kind of cute. It's just a pearl dress-up bracelet. And my girls have small wrists, so that might be something they would actually wear. Um, I'll put that aside for them to look at. Most of the time, they don't want anything to do with the jewelry bags. They're like, we have whatever we need. Okay. It's actually kind of cute. Bling. Doesn't seem to be missing any stones. The clasp is not broken. But it is magnetic, so it's uh, 
not real. Um, these look like they could kind of go with that. So we have one earring. It's kind of blingy and big. So we'll set that aside and hopefully we can find the other ones. Um, this is the one of the teeniest rings I've ever seen in a bag. If it's really a ring, which it looks like it is. Let's see if I can see any. Look how teeny that is. It looks like it's diamond cut silver, so it's like a, just a texture. Let me see if I can see anything on the inside of it. It doesn't look real gold. It looks like a plate on the inside, and I can see that it's chipped up, and I'll show you how I can tell. So it's not uh, even silver. So when you look through a loop, and you see, <laughs> this is going to be rough. I'm just sitting in the dark. Okay, there you go. See that black dot right there? That means that the gold plate's coming off. But that's a teeny ring. One of my girls actually might fit that. They have the skinniest little fingers and the teeniest little wrists. And that's also a cute earring. One earring. Okay, this is a unique watch. I don't think it's anything valuable, but it's just cute. Yeah, it's that Genova, Geneva brand. But that's a really cute decorative one and um, it's still got the sticker on the back. That's the thing, these watches came and went so quick. That is kind of cute though. I kind of wonder if somebody might like that. Okay. Clip on earring. It was so cute. I had a bunch of girls over from my neighborhood to look through my jewelry because I have a ton I donate. And there's one little girl that does not have pierced ears and she was so excited. Okay, so it was a little clip on earring. Um, she was so excited to find some clip-ons. It was really cute. All right, it's not magnetic. And it looks, um, part of it looks like it could be silver. The other part does not look like it is silver. So I'm just going to double check. It does not look silver. It looks plated. So anyway, I'm going to hopefully find the other one of those. And if I find them, I'll drop them off. She seemed to, I, I've done that before. She seemed really appreciative, but she did come go and dig her own jewelry and take some stuff. So uh, a seashell. Now I talk about, uh, we have a family reunions regularly and I have boxes of luau decorations that, oh, this is a designer. I recognize that mark. Um, so if it's designer, I look it up online and see if it's worth selling it at some point. But um, that's really pretty. And I actually think one of my girls might like that, which is really simple but pretty. Um, so I'll ask them if they want it, and if not, I'll um, look at, to sell it online. But um, so for the luau, we just have I have a bunch of treasure boxes and decorations and everything, and I just throw those all in individual bags and then stick them in a treasure chest. So when people come, they can have lace and shell bracelets and necklaces. And there's a bunch of the this type. Oh, look at that! I have something like this for the guys. I have a ton of these because they come in every bag. <laughs> you buy them for your kid on every trip, and then they wear them once and they're gone. So um, that's just something I do with the extra luau stuff. Now this is a glass bead bracelet. Um, I kind of like this part. I really don't like the bead, but I kind of like the, just the black and the silver. So I might just take that bead off of there and just, I have a ghost. <laughs> There's nobody here. <laughs> the bags are falling. I might keep that. I might take that bead off and just keep that. I, I break and lose bracelets all the time. And it's sad when I just broke a real, bra real um, pearl bracelet. I need to restring it the other day. That made me sad. Anyway, there's the ring. It's a search ring and swatch ring. So the kids really like those at Christmas. I mean, at Halloween. So at Halloween, what I do is I bag up all the stuff I don't want, and then I let the kids come and dig through it. And, um, or not it, but dig um, and take some jewelry for, they can choose candy or um stuffed animals or that or whatever. I have stuff for different ages. So nine out of 10 pick a prize, but some do pick candy. Okay. Now this is actually new because it has the red stop for the button. So I might put that in the um, prize. We do a game called either or look that up on my YouTube channel 
on my blog, thesecretisgravity2.com, and it's really fun. You just put a bunch of different prizes in a bunch of different boxes, and then you say, you pick somebody, say it's a 12-year-old girl, you say, you can have this cute purse, or you can pick a bag, a box. And sometimes they'll take the bag, but uh, most of the time they'll pick a box, and then they might get a transformer or something in there, or a plastic snake or something, or a house decor item. So they don't really like what they got. And the rules of the game are they have to keep it to the end, and then they can trade. But, um... It's a fun game. It's We've done it a couple times now, and the, the kids really like it. Okay, this has knots in it. I was trying to get them out, but... Anyway, I know a, a lady who really loves keys, and I think she would appreciate it if I gave that to her. She works at one of the stores where I... Well, it's missing a little stone, but I don't think she'd care. She works at one of the stores where I buy bags of jewelry, and she always tells me, Oh, I love the keys. Okay, it's a Timex watch that is ticking. And it, I was wondering if it was wind up, but it's not. It's a. Uh, it's got a battery in it, which most of the watches I get do not. But we'll put that with the donate watches because I don't think Timex are really worth that much. So one earring, silver bracelet. Um, okay, whoops, I didn't <laughs> test it in front of you. Most of the time, and I can see it already, there's um, copper or brass coming through, so they won't be magnetic. How you know it's not real is, one, if it was real, they would not secure it with elastic because that might break and you'd lose the silver. But two, <clears throat> the back of the item, silver is usually smooth. doesn't have these ridges. That's usually some kind of a plate. Um, three, if it was it would not, so the ridges are one, and then two, the plate, you can see um, things coming through, the copper or whatever coming through. So, two things I can do, I can put it in the donate pile, or I can put it in the recycle pile. If I put it in the recycle pile, I pull the elastics out and just dump it all in the recycle bag, um, because copper and brass, um, because it's not magnetic, it's got to be one of the two, most likely. So, um, I can put it in the recycle. It's still usable, and... So I'm just going to put it in the donate pile because it's really, somebody might like that. Okay. Obviously not real, but it's got a lot of bling on it. You could put it in, um, if it was smaller, I would put it in the pinata. So I also have a pinata that we do for the younger kids at most family activities. And so I'll bag all of the little kid rings and and necklaces and things like that in little baggies and then we'll put them in the pinata and when they break it open they get prizes and the kids love rings and stuff like that. So that is another um, option. Okay, this ring, you tell me. <laughs> you see it's kind of um, not shiny silver on the top, it's got copper and brass coming through. It's kind of a mixed, it's kind of yellowy. Um, it, but you can tell, looking underneath, that it was silver plated at one point, and the silver plate has worn off. See how silvery that is, and then the edges is kind of a brass copper mix. So that's probably why the person um, has not been wearing it. But I'm trying to see if there's a designer maker of anything in it. Usually these ones don't have anything on them. They're just a cheap, like an icing brand or something. And also you can always look at it with a loop too. Um, let's see if you can even see that the sun keeps disappearing. Um, gosh, I'm having a rough day. Maybe I should have just waited. <laughs> uh, anyway, trust me. <laughs> There's, let's see if I can get a good spot where you can see that on the top side. So I don't have to try and go on the inside. It's just so worn on the outside, and you're not going to see much. It's just down to whatever mix it is. Anyway, that's going in the recycle because it's really, really worn. Okay, wow. <laughs> A magnetic necklace that's sparkly pink. Now, <laughs> normally I would just put that in a donate, but I think my grandbaby would think that was super cool. So I'm going to put that in the give to my granddaughter to dress up. She likes pink um, princess necklaces, so we'll give her that. 
seashells. So you tell me, where is this going? <laughs> it's going in the luau pile, along with this other thing that I showed you. And so I just have individual bags, which I buy at Walmart. Um, in the jewelry making section, they have 100 for a dollar on the smaller bags. So this is um, a stone, natural stone area. Luau Pio. So um, I get those bags, or there's $102 for the bigger bags. And then I um, bag them up and put them in the different, different containers. Rose quartz necklace, um, it's kind of an interesting shell piece on there. It's nothing I would wear, but somebody might love it. So there's that. So there's lots of different piles. Sometimes I throw these in recycle because they're aluminum, and um, other times I'll just put them in the Halloween, you know, donate. Just depends on what I'm feeling like for the day. These are glass beads, but I love the color of them. Look how pretty those are. I like that color, but it's very small. I don't think this would fit around my neck. <laughs> kind of looks too big for an ankle bracelet. It's a little kid's necklace, maybe? I don't know. Actually, it's really weird. It's like an extender, because look, it's got two or somebody pulled it apart. I really like those color of those beads though. So I might just keep those for the beads. I don't normally keep anything for the beads. I don't um, do much with anything like that. I usually just sell them at a yard sale. People come to my yard sales and just buy huge bags of the jewelry and I just tell them, pay me what you think it's worth. And some people will pay me a dollar and other people will give me 20. So it's just dependent upon the person and I don't really care it's I'm buying it for a different purpose anyway and I get a lot of use out of it all so um it didn't look real silver this clasp and it's not but um it just had weird and great like normally they're smooth but painted but this one just had different um bumps in it this is really interesting because it looks like some of these beads are um, buttons might be antique. It's like somebody homemade took a bunch of different strips of beads and um, glass beads. These are glass. And almost iridescent yellow, which is kind of cool. And then a bunch of um, um, buttons. But a couple of these buttons look like they could be kind of old. So um, if they were like old um, stone. Look, this is a shell one that's actually kind of funny shaped or something. But the button's still there. It's just kind of worn. Anyway, if I felt like it was worth it, I don't feel like it's worth it to take the necklace apart. But somebody will probably buy that in the yard sale or take it for Halloween. It's just it's not worth it to me. <laughs> okay. Not real, a little pearl silver thing. And that's kind of cute. A little girl might like that for Halloween. Or the old folks. The other thing I do is I'll take a bag of jewelry, bag jewelry, and I'll, for the men I'll do pins, like military pins or um, coins, commemorative coins or something like that. And I'll take it to the nursing home. And um, we'll sing them a song and then let them pick one of the jewelry or something. But there's that. Not real. But see, one of the old ladies at the nursing home would love that. She would just love that. So I'll go through and pick out things like pearls and more classic stuff for that old folks home. And then the kids for Halloween, I'll pick more younger stuff. So um, one earring. Um, okay, so it's not magnetic. So then you look on the inside and see if you can find any markings. And I do see markings, and it says Sterling 925. So, yay, that's a heavy piece of sterling. So let me show you. So there's a couple of tests that we do. Let me see if I can come down here. Yeah, 95 sterling right there. 
you can see that okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so first thing you do, test it with magnet. It looked like it could be stainless. I thought it was actually stainless when I pulled it out. The lighting in here is really bad and it's kind of tarnished. But when it's not magnetic, you always look for um, writing. If it doesn't have darkness in it, like this one has darkness so you could see it, but sometimes it doesn't and they're really light. So I always run my finger. I just do this all the way around the inside and see if I can find a weld mark or a, the writing. So then if I can, and I'll do that with brooches too, and then, then I see that. So yay, we've got silver. Awesome. Oh, this looks like it could be silver too. Nope. It's not, but. Yeah. Interesting. Look at that. One half of it seems to be. <laughs> So no, it's not. And the reason I thought it might be was just the tarnish amount, the level of tarnish on it. Because it looks pretty tarnished. But like I said, the lighting in here is not good. Oh, this is a better option. Hopefully you can see this. So silver plating. It, you can see it's just flaky. It looks flaky and there's black chips showing through. That's what happens when plate's coming off. So I could put that in the... I can pull the charm off and use the charm. I can put it in the recycling. Um, we use these kind for dog tags for girls camp. So I'll probably pull that apart and save it for that reason, the dog tag section. Um, there's a earring stuck right there. A little reflective. Oh, the magnet's collecting things. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, like a little grape earring. It's interesting. Um, gonna still check it. It's not. Wait, wait, that's weird. Okay, so this part's magnetic. This part is not magnetic. So sometimes when people are making their own jewelry, they will buy sterling silver uh, earring studs because they have allergies or something. And so sometimes you'll have marked sterling on the earring. Look at that, it's not magnetic. So I'm gonna look at that a little closer later. Um, it's dark in here and I'm not seeing very well, but I don't feel any markings on it, but I wanna just double check because it's not magnetic. So I always wanna double check those kind of things. Okay, look at that. Oh, that goes with those little earring, that earring. Okay, so we have one earring that goes with that. So I'm going to put that aside so we can match the set. And then I bag them up together so that somebody can have the whole set if they want it. Okay. Pearl, bracelet. Not real. Very cute, though. I think a young girl or one of the people at the care center or nursing home would really like that. Okay, this is something I would have loved at 16 as an ankle bracelet. I lived in New Zealand as an exchange student when I was 16 and I I was kind of hippie-ish. <laughs> Love that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's very thumbing. <laughs> I think a little kid would like that. I'm gonna put that in the um, my granddaughter's dress up pile. Her mom won't let her have it for a little while, but that's understandable. Because <laughs> my grandson ate the blue beads off of one of the necklaces. So we'll be careful with that. Okay. This is adorable. This is a Disney princess bracelet. I know where that's going right away. <laughs> okay. They've got one of them carrying water. And it's, it's Cinderella. They've got the blue bird. Look at that, so cute. That's the cutest little bracelet. She's gonna love that. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Okay. Yay for fun grandkids. <laughs> She's a freak. Disney princess freak, this granddaughter. She just, every time I'm there, she's like, can you sew me a princess dress? I know you can sew them. Because <laughs> if I can't find them to buy them, she wants me to sew them. So, so far she has this crown and shoes and dress for Belle and the, the 
shoes and dress for Cinderella, the shoes and dress for Elsa. <laughs> she, when she grows a few inches, I'm in trouble because she'll outgrow them all. Okay, I cannot get this off. There we go. Oh, that's dangerous. Clasp. I'll show you that in a minute. I think that goes on there. Okay, there is a stone. And it is all in knots. The necklace is magnetic. It has gold plating on it. So in those cases, you can gold plate it. It, uh, it might have gold fill. You, you can um, recycle it or not. Um, if I did want to keep this, which I really don't care, you can tell by the back it's not real. See the plate and everything. Um, I would change the jump ring. See how dirty and coppery it is. I would put a new gold jump ring on there if I was going to keep it, but it's just going to go on the donut pile anyway. Somebody's going to love it. Okay, there is a heart cage, I guess. It's not a locket or anything. It's copper plate. Somebody might like that. Cute off of a, you know what, that might be cute on a bouquet. It's got gold on one side and then gold on the other. Um, I have a sister who makes bouquets. Check out my blog, she's fabulous. The secret is gratitude.com and type in um, bouquet at the bottom in the search box and see the bouquets that she's made. Oh, she's fabulous. She uses all sorts of mediums. My, she made ma my daughter's out of maps, old maps, and um, her daughter's was out of fabric. She made it into roses. It's just, she's so talented. Okay, this looks like a designer. It's kind of an old school style, but it's shell. So if I look up the designer, um, if it's nothing, then I will put it in the, the uh, cold water, it looks like. Cold water creek. I don't think that's a real exciting designer, but it's probably like icing or something, but I'll check it just in case. But um, I put it in the pinata pile. I mean, not the pinata pile, the luau pile. What this? I have a hundred of these, if not more. And look, it's a bracelet to go with that rose quartz necklace. But I actually have a rose quartz necklace that I like that I might actually wear this with. This is something I may actually wear. It's not too tight. It's kind of cute. So I will probably keep that and not keep the necklace, just because I, or I'll check and see if I actually do have a. A bracelet for the one I have. Okay, it's a stretchy bracelet, which I actually bought one when they were popular, and it pulled the hair off my arms so bad. <laughs> Catch on everything. I'd pick up my girls and get caught in their hair, and I, they'd be screaming, and I'm trying to get it off. Don't recommend those. Okay, here's the 14 karat gold bracelet. It is not broken. It is a bracelet. A bummer that. I was hoping it would be um, bigger. But it is 14K, and I did show you that through the bag, but I'll show you again. Okay, it's usually 14K. Any kind of gold is welded at the joints. It usually has this type of, or a little bit wider. Uh, on silver, it's wider. On gold, it's going to be smaller. Um, clasp. It does have, we do have this type of clasp. Or, excuse me, or a lobster claw clasp. And usually all parts are marked with a, a stamp of what, what it is. So 10K, 14K. So this one's super small, so hopefully you can see it. So this is an older one because they didn't start with lobster claws until like, what, the 90s-ish? Um, so this is more like 80s um, or earlier. So hopefully you can see that right there. Can you see it right there? Gosh. That one's still very well, but I hopefully you saw it. Anyway, so 14k on there, and then each side of the this little thing. It'll usually tell you what country of origin it is, and usually gold and silver are, um, Italy is the most common. See it right there? I 
see what we're even looking at. 14K, yeah, and um, AU is the sign for gold in um, the periodic table. So that might just be an A in a circle for the periodic table. Now this side, if we can see it, it's made in Italy. There. So usually <clears throat> gold, quality gold is from Italy. Um, sometimes Peru and sometimes Mexico, but I really hesitate anything being made in Mexico because you never know if it's real. And China. China also has fake marked jewelry, so you have to be careful. It's a glass bead. Uh, okay, so this is a, ne a necklace. I really like these kind because I can put a charm on them and they don't fold and bend. Like, so if I put this on, and I put a charm on it, it doesn't come to a point. It's still rounded. So I really like these kind of necklaces for charms. Um, any kind, even antique or whatever. Um, I like that it's new. It's got the tag made in China on it. Um, and let's see if it has the, I know it's magnetic because I could feel it through the bag. So it's very magnetic. It's probably a plate. So let me see if there's any markings to tell us if there's any kind of electric plate or fill, but usually it's, if it's that magnetic, it's super magnetic, then it's not um, plated. It's, I mean, it usually is plated, if anything. Oh my goodness. I can't breathe. Yeah, I'm not seeing any markings on the inside either, so, but anyway, I still like this, this type of necklace for charms, especially for kids or whatever, because it doesn't lay funny, so I'm going to keep that in the, um, my jewelry box area for me, just when I have find a little term I'm going to hang on it. Okay. I'm 100% sure that is not real. It's just a little icing type bracelet, and it's not. Lots of bracelets today. It must have been at the bottom of the bag. Okay. A copper plate. It's a silver plated copper and wood. So every other one is copper, every other one is wood. So it's no value. I don't want to pick off and sort it. So I'm just going to donate it. Um, if you were diehard, you could take off the copper beads and recycle them. But I am not that caring today. A ring. I would never wear it. It's too big. It's bulky. It would catch on things. I hate pointed rings. But it is cute. Somebody may like it. it uh, I'm going to say I don't think it's magnetic. I can tell by the feel and the design and everything. It's not real. Um, but I will check just to make sure. So it's probably brass. It's just the way that it's designed. I can tell it's plated. And it is plated. And I've told you all the reasons why I know that. But somebody might like it. So yeah, well, you can just even hear it. <laughs> it sounds like tin. Um... um Yay, I found the other clip-on earring for my, my sweet little neighbor girl. So I will bag those and take those to her house. Okay. Hurry, this hair keeps waving and distracting me. Um, okay, this does not look real. Um, I wonder if it's... So it's more magnetic on the... the uh, yeah, it's plate. Sometimes it's magnetic here because they have a stronger metal here and it's not magnetic down here. Yeah, it is though. Um, so I always double check because sometimes it can be sterling here and then just be uh, a little bit more of metal, a different metal in the, in the earrings stem. Something broken. It's not real. Um, a pearl Earring. It's extremely magnetic. Let's take off the back. Sometimes they're okay. It has plate on it. You can see where the plating starts on the stem. So not a lot of value there. And you can see the plating coming off all the way around when you look through the loop. So. But I always take the back off because the back might be magnetic and the earring itself may not be. So, um, uh, a shell earring. It's kind of pretty. 
a stone earring, a little glass, stone, glass pearl tipped off, <laughs> I don't know what it is, cream little stone bracelet, nobody's gonna want that. My granddaughter would rather have a pink one, so we won't give that to her. Okay, this is interesting. Let's see. No, I thought this was flat there. Excited for a minute. Looks like plate, actually. Darn it. I don't know. Okay, let me show what I'm looking at. It's hollow, and so when you find one that's hollow, um, it kind of has that gold look. You kind of hope that it's maybe gold that's just a little tarnished or something, but I think it's gold plate that the plating has rubbed off. Um, it's not magnetic. Let's see if I can get some of the tarnish off. It's not tarnish, it's just scrapes in the yeah, coating, gold plating. Let me show you how it looks like. Kind of looks like a map, a uh, little trail on a map. See that? You see how it kind of looks like little trails as the plate crackles off? Um, I will probably put that in the recycle because there looks like there's a lot of plate on it. It's already coming off, and nobody's probably going to wear it. So. That's what I'll probably do. Well, looky, more clip-on earrings for my neighbor. Except, are these worth anything is what the question. They're kind of weird sounding and hollow. Let's see if there's any markings on them. They feel very light for earrings, clip-ons. They are also gold-plated. Let me show you why I know that. But if they were designer, they still might have some value. Patent pending for the clip portion. But you can see clearly it's got um, plate chips. So if I didn't have that little neighbor girl that um, Double check on this one for marking. Sometimes they'll mark one on the earring and not the other one. But it looks like there's nothing going on. I will see if she wants them. If not, I'll recycle them. So she might appreciate those. Okay. Oh, I like this. I had one similar a couple months back. I think I shared with you. It's purple. Isn't that pretty? Love it. I don't like the chain, but I love the I love the stone in it. It's very pretty. Not silver though. But I don't know. I'll look into that. I also have a sister that loves purple stone, so let me see if she wants it. Um, not real. I'll put all those in one bag, probably. A Genova, Geneva. I don't know why I always do that watch. I like the leather strap, though. The leather watch band on that is nice. It's new. It's not really cracked or anything. It's pretty nice. I don't need one, though. I never wear a watch. I have a couple just more dressy ones. Okay, this is not magnetic, but looking at the inside and the clasp, it does not look real. But it's pretty for dress ups. Okay, this is stone and coral. And I know sometimes this red coral can be expensive. Um, I don't think this is necessarily jade, but somebody might like that. It's all stone. So I'll look that up, see if I can maybe get something for that. Clip on earring. Not magnetic. A scarf clip. Quite dangerous. Another stretchy, ouchy 
a plastic um, bead. Yay, we've got the other one of these. No designer marks, but they're cute dress ups. I think we'll put that in the dress up stuff. Um, glass beads. Those are, boy, you could wear that on St. Patrick's Day, couldn't you? I, I give that to my girlfriend who works in the, with special needs. I think she'd like that. <laughs> she'd wear that. She dresses up for all the holidays because the kids like it. I don't dress up for any of the holidays, so. I think that goes with this. But there's only one so far. Um, yep, I don't want that. Hold on a second. Blow my nose. Sorry about that. I don't even know if it helped. <laughs> just I took a duke of just about an hour and a half ago. It's not working. Earring. Um it's a gold and black earring. Uh, I thought it might have writing on it, but it doesn't. It's very, very plated. A cute little girl's butterfly heart necklace. Oh, it's just hearts with flowers. It's kind of cute. I wonder if my granddaughter would like that. Not real. Plastic. Um, glass turquoise earring clip on. No, it's clip on. Oh, oh she like that. The other one of those little pearls that are um, plated. Maybe show you the other one. Another made in China necklace that I love. So those two of those. A paper page thing for a book. You know, it's interesting. The kids will get them at Halloween for their mothers. She'll be like, oh, she'll love this. Another clip-on earring. Um, let's see if I can see a designer mark or anything. Nope. Oh. Another broken pearl. I'm not quite sure where they came from. It looks like somebody was trying to make earrings or something. 80s totally <laughs> not keeping black plastic beads not keeping a copper coming through plated silver really bad I think I'm just gonna put that in recycling it's not and I'll just keep the lanyard type it did have a maker's thing. What is it? Little Sophia? Lane Bryant. How old is that? Oops. Okay, so I'll just take that off. Use this for whatever and put that in the recycling pile for the copper value. Oh, look, we found the other earring to that black set. So now I have an earrings and a necklace somebody can have. There's this little cute set somebody might like. Um, yeah. It's plated. So usually those kind of costume jewelries are not real. A little broken bead pearl, not real. A brown watch by Japan Movement, <laughs> and nothing written on the back. It was really a no-name watch, literally. Oh wait, is there a designer mark? Nope, it's a gold dot. <laughs> okay, this uh, kind of jewelry goes in the luau. Well, that would be cute for a luau, somebody wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Another luau. Another luau. Um... A pink flowery earring. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's like shells made into painted gold. I don't know. Luau, maybe. Get rid of. Either way, um, this is kind of cute. 
Little pastel beads. I think my granddaughter would like that. Oh, goodness. Wow. Somebody really wants to be a star. That is an earring. <laughs> All right. Uh, pink and blue stars. That looks almost like you'd wear it for a dance company or something. Interesting. Fake earring that latch is broken. Seashells. Seashells by the seashore. I always check the clasps on these because sometimes they'll just use what they have or whatever in their sterling. I'm not seeing any markings on them. But I always just double check. Nope. Um, oh, that lady I was telling you about would probably like that little key thing, except it's broken, and I don't want to deal with it, but she might, but that little lock's just cute. She'll like that, I think. We'll see if she wants it. The other clip-on, so we'll take that set to my neighbor as well. Another clip-on here, and it's magnetic, so not real, but... Okay, so let's compare. So I picked this one up and I'm like, it feels just like the other silver one. I'm like, oh yay, I've got another silver bracelet. The same size, the same dimensions wide. They both kind of shine in the sun. They both have the same weight. You hear the ring on the silver? You can hear this the stainless one's clunky more clunky and it's very magnetic so you always have to check because by looking at them you would never know that was real another little timex watch it's not a wind up but this one looks a little newer it's actually got a cute little bit it's kind of cute i don't know anybody that needs it but um Wow, these could cut. These were serious. Um, stainless steel china on the band and some kind of labeling on the back. Band. Sees that I'm talking about this sort of scratchy. Anyway, I can't see any name brand or anything on it. A Geneva watch. Lots of watches in this bag. Now this is a bracelet that usually matches a watch. I got a set, you know, you get this with the watch and um, a set. I get them. I got several of these in the 80s, not, uh, 90s, I guess. And it's not magnetic, but it's got to be brass or copper. Made in China. Interesting. Um, and then you could take the links off and make a different. Yeah. Maybe somebody might like it. But uh, you could shorten them and lengthen them. And then it was like. The jewelry, you'd have the jewelry with the bracelet. Um, didn't I get rid of a stone like this already? Somewhere. It was a little necklace. Oh, that was the gold one I'm thinking of. So these are just stone. So it's kind of pretty. You might like that. I'm catching all these earrings that I've got down here in my area. Earring. The bag is huge. Uh, hopefully I've got more gold and silver. I haven't gotten very much considering. A Loris watch. Looks like it's pretty good shape. Got the extra clasp. Nice clasp on it. Actually, pretty good shape. 
Uh, this is terrible. Uh, a Ralph Lauren tortoise bracelet. It's plastic and the RL seems to be plated, but Not magnetic. Um, it's plated. You can see the scratching coming through all over the place. But as designer, okay, so I'm going to put it online and see what, or look at it online and see if it's worth it. Yep, seashells. Bad to see shore. The other earring like that. Oh, please be real. There is a cameo. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my finger and rubbing to see if it's got any engravings. A lot of the older ones will have engravings here, um, or on the back of the brooch. Trying to see if there's any markings that I can see. Looks like it's not, it looks like it's rubbing, resting at the joint, which is, um, plate coming off maybe. Sometimes they have the stamps in this little part here or are at the bottom of the pen. So you have to really, 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 I uh, can see the plate coming off, darn it. Yeah. Um, you have to look and be really dil diligent in some of them because the markings are so teeny. Hoping for more. Plated. Yeah. Darn it. And then sometimes they're marked on the stem themselves. Looking for a designer mark. Um, stamp of some kind. Sometimes even if they're not real, there's designer marks stamped on them. And sometimes it's marked in here. So you have to like really, really look hard for some of those design marks. Their stamps are pretty small. Just be indulgent. But anyway, it's still cute. Very, very cute. I have someone in my life named Cameo, so um it really feels carved. Just bubbled chemically plastic. Interesting. I don't know, this is kind of an interesting piece. It is plated. I can show you. You see the black coming through right there? plated. Anyway, I think it's really cute. I'm going to make you that one for dress ups. I thought I going to do it like that. Um, I love when you find stuff like that. Wow. This is the heart of the Titanic. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> dress ups for my granddaughter. This is, uh, really a big big stone what is it it's got a designer mark on it an n um that 
is not acting like it's okay. Let's see if I can see any markings on the necklace clasps or anything. All right, none of this is magnetic. The clasp's plated, but sometimes that can be changed out. Just say an N there. Um, you check out the designer, like the design stuff, see if you can find any markings on it. Um, it's also plated, I can see. Oh, it's got plastic on the back of it still. No wonder. It's got plastic. I'm like, something's not quite right there. Put that right back on. Um, I really think it's cute, though. It's very shiny. Like a diamond. I'm going to have to look that designer up. <laughs> it does the, the heart of the Titanic. Look that up. That's kind of fun. Oh, we'll put that with the cool finds. It's plated, it looks like, but still cool find. The other purple grape. Or is that the same one? I don't know. It's steel. Maybe it's the same one. It's catching it. Um, yeah, it's picking up the magnet. Not real. The daughter might be interested in that one. Let's ask her. Uh, little Sophia. There's two here. Or is there one? And it's just, nope. Okay, there's that one. And those are never real. And this one is, looks like Cookie Lee. And it's plated. Cookie Lee's never real either. And you can see the copper coming through on part of it. So. Oh, here's the other part of this Kigili bracelet goes with it. And we will keep them together. But, you know, somebody might want them for the beads. The glass beads on them are cute. Here's another Kigili. The, they are glass beads. Somebody might want them. I like these iridescent ones, so I might just take those ones. Because we've made cute earrings out of those before for an evening gown. Mm, I'm not sure on that one. I'm thinking about that one. Oh, look. Not a thing. It's really beat up, though. So it's going to probably go in the recycling. A. Brand is this? Style Co. Watch. But they probably wore it twice in the plating is so thin that's what it looks like on the other side. So they won't wear it because it's a funky type of band that goes only with the watch, but the watch is already losing its plate. So what's the point of keeping the watch if you can't wear it because the plate's coming off? So I will offer that to the watch person and if they don't want it, I'll put it in the recycling. The other pink earring. And there real. Um, gosh, long video. Cute black and white necklace, something you might like. Um, how fun is this? It's broken, but it's fun. It's a coin bracelet. That is cute. Looks like it's plated, but the clasps look like they were plated, maybe, or just super stained. Oh, no, they're just tarnished. Dang. Look how quick that came to be shiny. I think it'd be sterling. That tarnished came off really fast. So look how tarnished that is. So right here. 
think it came off super fast, like three or four wipes on both sides. Huh. It does not look real. It is welded, however. So one never knows. I don't think it says anything. I may have daughters that want this. I'll ask him. It is welded. That's weird. No, it's well, no. I don't know. Who knew? I'll have to search the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, that's interesting. It's got corn on it, and it says 10 since 1979. 10 CS, it's got a M mark, Mexico maybe. Is there on the front an Aztec y thing? You notice what? Mexico? Yeah. Anyway, I'll have to see if one of my girls is interested in that. Really pretty sculpted uh, earring from the show. Wow. An enamel bracelet. These were big in what, the 80s? Late 80s? No, 90s. Early 90s ish. I don't know if there's a market for those or not. I don't see a designer mark on it. That'd be cute dress ups, but mm, I don't know. Elsa Anna, that might be cute. Have to see. I think she has blue pearls for that already now. Um this uh, it's just a little earring, I was checking it, but it seems to be magnetic, so alright, nothing. A vintage brooch. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Uh, uh, and a bracelet. It is absolutely stuck around all through it. And you hate to pull on these things because sometimes they're real. This one does not look gold, but the label looks like it's uh, gold. <laughs> it's probably gold fill. Yeah, 120 12 karat gold. So it's got 120th mixed in um, of gold fill. So basically I'll pull that off and recycle that because it's not, it doesn't stay gold. The clasp is the only thing that stayed gold, that little label. Um, so if you see one slash 20, like 120 or one slash 10 or one something, uh, it's usually gold filled and they're not, there's not a lot of value, but when you have a lot of it, I mean, I've been doing this for a while. I've got quite a bit of it. You recycle it and get the gold out of it. I never get around to it. Okay. We're going to give up on this for the minute. Anyway, I kind of like that old brooch. It's just kind of fun. I'll have to pull it apart when I have a minute. Another pinata luau thing. There's always these. Always. People don't want to throw them away, but they don't want to keep them. So I just put them in the luau pocket and people can take them home and donate them and I can buy them back. Not real. Picked up the chain, the magnet. Um, everybody's going to want that. Uh, seashell earrings. Uh, the only reason I'm looking at them for a minute longer is the flat 
parts of that right there. Sometimes those are real gold or real silver. So I always double check them because if they're flat like that, sometimes they're real. So the clasp itself is not um, seeming to be magnetic. It looks like it might be copper plated. Through. Yeah, it's plated. It's chipping off. Um, so I'll always check because yeah, the copper's coming through. Let me show you. Because um, sometimes they'll take some of these old earrings and just take them apart. They don't like them because they're old. You can see the copper coming through right there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and then they'll put these real stems on cheap earrings or something. And so you want to make sure that you don't um, throw them away if they're real. Yeah, no. It looks like a dog. <laughs> dog <collar. laughs> I can't imagine anybody wearing that. I'm sorry if I offended you if you've ever worn that. All right, my other beautiful blue and purple star tingly earrings. <laughs> I might put this on just to choke somebody. My cute little granddaughter, she used to say, Grandma, I love your earrings because they were on your ear and your ear here. She thought they were called earrings. So, um, a little kid's right. Tales for choose the right and it's on a shield. Reminding kids to make good choices. Like if you choose the right, you'll be shielded from bad things. Um, anyway, some more little kids rings. My granddaughter will probably like that little pink heart one. I don't think she'd want the other one. Um, so anyway, I was up there this time and she's like, I like your earrings. And I was like, what? <laughs> I said, you don't like my earrings? And she said, no, they're called earrings. And I was like, oh, darn it. Her mom told her. Oh, I was all excited for five minutes. Five seconds, I should say, because it says 14 K T. Yeah. G E cold electric plate. I'm like, oh my gosh, is it a real sapphire? How pretty. Nope. Gold filled or gold plated. It's actually really big. Um, I've got big fingers and it's fitting my big fingers. Darn it. It's very happy for a second. Oh, I didn't show you. Let me see if I can show you. And hopefully you can see the E. The E is not stamped in as well. When it's when it's not gold, it's very hard to get the stamp to go in and on fake metals. Um, so sometimes it will not be stamped very well. Come on now. Where is it? Right there. Ah. That's right. I'm trying. Why can't I get it there? It's a bad angle. Anyway, believe me, it's there. Not real. This one still has a price tag on it. It's a bracelet with glass beads that says Strata. 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 Yay. Little bracelet. It's kind of cute, actually. And it's. I'll put it in the prize box for our family games, that either or game. <laughs> Not real. So far, I'm not really excited about the cost of this bag for little gold and silver. All right, Elle. Little kids watch. 
I really love that for Halloween or pinata. Put that in the pinata pile. I've been duped. This bag's getting empty and it's not got anything exciting. Except that one gold necklace bracelet. Um, that's a big old dangly earring. And it was stuck on the magnet, so I know it's not real. Uh, not magnetic. Not magnetic. However, the back does not look real. You see it's got those striations and lines. Usually if it's silver, it does not have those. So it's got to be a plate of some kind. Yeah. Yep, darn it. One earring. <laughs> A bracelet. Yeah. It's... Tree of life. Live, love, laugh or something. Nursing home patients will love that. Here's the other earring. So we've got a set of those. Really kind of ugly earring. A set of these green metal earrings. And a blue bead earring. Um, darn it, I was hoping it was silver. It's plated. You can see clearly it's chipping off. Darn it. An XOXO ring. It says 925. What in the? It's not too maybe it's just tarnished. Okay, maybe it's silver. Hold on, let me, do, let me see if I can. It looked like it was black coming through. Maybe it's just tarnished. Oh yeah, shined right up. Let me show you the 925. Now you won't be able to see it because it's clean. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be able to see it. I don't know that you'll be able to. I'm having a hard time with it myself. It's really small. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to happen. Uh, sorry, guys. It's very small. And I just wiped it up. Next time I won't polish it. Anyway, there's a small 925 stamp on there. Another kid's sized ring. A uh, stone earring. A match to the stone earring. A cutesy little bracelet. It's not magnetic, but it doesn't look real. have the look and feel of real. Although it's polishing up really well. Polishing up super well actually. I'll show you. So that was the side I did not polish, and that's the side I did polish. Wow, that polishes up really well. That might be real silver, just to find out how. Sometimes they don't mark them. They'll just have it on the bag. Or one little spot on the... Well, I'll have to look at that a little closer. Wood. Uh, 
elephant? Maybe? What is this? I can't even tell. Plastic bezel back. Rise. I do not know what that is. Oh, wait, at the bottom there's. Oh no, that's. Nope. I have no idea. Anyway, it's very plastic y looking. Made in China. What a necklace. Wow. I am really disappointed with the amount of money I spent on this bag. But that's the risk you take. Big old blue good man. That make you hang your head all day. That's heavy. Um, there's a little heart tag um, and a designer D. So I will look the ordinary. I will look that up. It's really heavy. Um, one of those uh, little stretchy bracelets. With some charms. One that's broken. An alien. A transformer. <laughs> reprints. I don't know. Anyway, sometimes I put those in thinking that somebody might want them one day. They'll come back, you know, like all the different little kids things that come back. Okay, it's um, a runestone sizable ring. Not real. I'm sure it's easy to try through. It's magnetic. Not real. Um... These are really super tarnished, so I'm wondering if they could be real. So it looks like somebody tried to make a clip-ons or a bracelet charm into a earrings. So they look like they're bracelet pieces, maybe. And, um, yeah, no, they're not. I do like them, though. I, I will put silver on them and, um put those in the desert dress up since they're kind of cute, but they're not sterling. Um, so it would be nice if there was another one. There's just one. I have a lot of one earrings in here. Okay, that was a very disappointing bag. I'm on the last thing, which is that watch. But this might pay for the whole bag if it's something exciting. It's got a name engraved in the back. It's plated. It says... Some S N A H W I W wait. Oh yeah, well no S N H W D G Larson nineteen fifty eight. And it's got the expensive back on that you need the tool to get off. Let me show you that. See that? And then at the bottom it says, here on the edge it says, shock resistant, um, anti-magnetic, so it should keep time better. Oh man, guys, it's 14 karat gold. It's not plated. Why is it showing up like plate? It really looks like plate. It's all crackled. Like right here. Oh, it's probably 14 karat gold bezel on the front. It's got a crown. Water resistant, water waterproof. Let me show you why I'm thinking it was a plate. Right there. There's the black. Is it right? Um, dang it, where is it? Okay, oh, see? And it's kind of crackly. So it looks like right there that it's plate. Oh, 
So there it's right there. I think it's plate, but that is on the watch band itself. So, wow, that's beautiful. Okay, cool. Let me show you. I just made the bag worth it if it's real. So it says. There's a crown, and then it says 14 carat gold, and then it says um, shock resistant. Well, I'm not going to show you, it's just taking forever, but okay, let me see if it works. Look at the band, what the band says. Spidel patented, and the reason I liked it was this band has a calendar on it, and you can move these little levers. See that? Isn't that cool? I've not seen that before. And then it's got these little roll levers that you can maneuver. Um, down here, uh, right there, but you can wheel it <clears throat> and change the calendar. I think. Oh, you have to roll them both at the same time. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Let me try and do it on camera. I just broke my fingernail. It's so hard. To... <laughs> Let's see if I can get it on camera. Okay, so there's a little wheel up here, a little down there. And by doing it, it ripped my fingernail. <laughs> it's got a little grit on it that you can get to, but <laughs> you see it? I'm moving it. I did move it a whole month. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty cool if you if you can get it to move without doing that to your fingernail. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, <laughs> see if I can do it. Is that the coolest thing ever? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, let's look at the front now. <laughs> I ripped my fingernail and I got red eyes and. The last thing, okay, it says self winding. Uh, it might be missing some letters, I think it is. Ink, ink block. Wind, no, I N C A B L O C, self winding. And then at the top, it's tradition. It says tradition and um, so it's a tradition watch and it should be self winding so if you wear it and you move around it's supposed to wind itself so as you move it's supposed to work but it's not moving um, it, the hands move okay. The hour hand's moving and the second hand is not moving. The minute hand is moving. The second hand moving. The movement isn't working. So I don't think it's working unless I need to wear it for a while to get it to wind. If this winding doesn't work. And because it has the special back on it, I don't have the tool to get it off. But if we're ready for a kind of cool 14 karat gold watch back, I do wonder if sometimes, I'll have to look it up, sometimes it's worth getting them fixed to sell um, and paying a few extra dollars to get it fixed. 
and cleaned and in working order um, if you can sell it for more. The cover itself is a little scratched, but the faceplate is just really worn. I don't know if you can fix that. But you take the band off. The band is cool, so I think that's probably got some value. But even if you take that off and you weigh the gold on it, it's pretty cool. What would be even cooler is if it was a gift to um, BGDG Larson and you could find out if he was like a military or if if it was like given as a graduate. Uh, G G D G Larson. It still looks plated to me. I don't know. That's weird. So maybe just the front bezel is gold. I don't know. Because the back looks plated. But it's engraved, and it would be cool if we could find out who. It belonged to. I don't know. The front kind of looks plated to me too. Maybe it's old enough that they started plating but didn't label it. I don't know. Very cool though. Just the watch band itself. Awesome. Anyway, so. $75 bag. A few gifts for my grandkids. A few new things I can use for prizes. A lot of luau stuff. Uh, a lot of giveaway. Way more giveaway than uh, keep. Oh. The last two things. Three things here. Um, a cheap gold plated necklace that is going in the recycle. And you can tell because of the way the clasp is. It's an old, maybe it's not. It's an old clasp. It's old style clasp. To me, it looked like one of those kids' necklaces. It's just really cheap. It's not shiny or anything. Just look on this again. Usually they're gold filled. That's, I mean, no, gold plated. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sniffing this whole time. Yeah, the gold plate's all worn off on it. Oh, it's not magnetic. That's weird. You can see clearly the plate's worn off. Anyway, and then this weird blue thing that nobody's going to want. Okay, so Silver Ring XOXO. Silver bracelet. Pretty good weight. Happy about that. 14 karat gold bracelet. Um, not heavy, not thin. It's uh, it's actually pretty good. I need to get one of those scales so I can show you how much they weigh. I think this might be real silver. Designer, don't know. Funky cool watch. Oh, there's one more watch. It's a Gen nope, Timex. Oh, it's a red face Timex. Water resistant. Whatever what year that is. Water resistant stainless steel back. Base bevel. Hey. It's a wind up watch. I love it. Don't find those very often. I paid more for my wind up watch than I paid. Come on, it's ticking. Hopefully you can hear that. That makes me happy. I love wind up watches. And the band is actually in really good shape. I like them for emergency prep. You don't find those very often. I paid 15, 20 bucks for my wind-up watch. I love it. Yay, that's a good find. So happy about that. And a bunch of one earrings. This <laughs> Mexican bracelet. And I really love this, even though it's plated. It's really pretty. So yay for that. It's a good find. It's one of my favorites. But I really think this band is the coolest. I mean, it's worn and everything, but what are the chant? That's so cool. 
I love it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, for why I do this. And um, have a blessed day.